Just, you're in slavery, man. Okay, they call it child labor force. And that's what they got into where they, these different nations are under. They're in uh, what's known as child labor force. Okay? So it says that, um, a behold, his, his soul which his enemy is lifted up. Okay? It's not upright, but a just shall live by faith. Yes, yea, also because he transgresses by wine, he's a proud man. A man, neither keepeth at home, who enlarges the desires as hell, and is as deaf and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto himself all nations, and heapeth unto himself all people. That's the whole thing of of um of uh, what's known as a uh, melting pot. Okay, you go to where uh, everybody goes out there into the states. Okay, you know all of the businesses out there they make their money over there. The big big melting pot. Okay. Um. So not all these take up a proverb against him. A taunting proverb against him, and sh uh, shall say, Woe to him that increases that which is not his. Okay? So now let's go back onto the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter now. Um, and really, I could go back onto the, you know, it's going to link up, it's going to make sense when I read the rest of the scripture. But I wanted to read, I'll read the second verse and so on and so forth. So it says, um, The people shall take them and bring them to their place, so we're going to take these different nations and bring them to our, our, our place, and we're going to have them for servants, and uh, they shall, um, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. Okay, so you know, your handmaid is someone that's at your beck and call. Man. Okay, it's going to be out and out slavery. Okay, so you can understand. The Bible speaks about out and out slavery of the other nations. We're having it to where the Israelites are the ones that are rulers over those slaves. Okay, so it says, um, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, and they shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall give thee rest from thy heart, from thy sorrows, and from thy fear, and from thy hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. So right now we're in hardcore captivity. Okay, and our, our rest is gonna come about when Yahba Shim Yahshai sets up a kingdom out here, man. Okay, we're gonna be doing nice. Okay, when that new Jerusalem, okay, is set up upon the earth, Jake's gonna be doing nice, man. Okay, remember how a Britain was set up. Okay, Britain was set up over what? Over the back of the, the, the uh, Caribbean slaves that came over here. Okay, and it was building during the time it was World War II and prior to that. Okay, nations are built off of slavery, man. Okay, nations are built off of slavery. And it ain't going to be different when, the, um, when you go to where the Lord's going to send and set up his, his anointing. It's going to be exactly the same thing. They're going to build up our kingdom. Okay, we go, now we, we're going to have the spiritual power. We can do it via spirit, spirits, but we got time all, all the time in the world. Okay, when you're talking about the, the elect of the Lord living in, in eternity, okay, when you're talking about everlasting life, and you got cap, you know, vast amounts of resources in terms of slaves, we're going to be doing nice because in that, let's say a brother wants to make a, a wine making a company, okay, or business, we ain't going to call it that, we're just going to call it what it is. Uh, he, the brother's a wine, you know, master wine maker, that's it, that's his craft, okay, because right now you got was known as businesses that's not how we function within the ancient society you had a, a trades okay skills of course passed down from father to son and, and then the son becomes the father to another child and he passed that trade skill down that's where the word smith comes from okay because that smith blacksmith okay that was a trade and that was passed down from the, the father to, just like how the surname was passed down to the son the, the trade was passed down to the son too the same thing we're gonna have in the kingdom Okay, we're gonna have crafts. Okay, brothers gonna be into the wine or into 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 uh, um I don't know metal work whatever it is. Okay, and we're gonna have the time to, to do all of that. But also doing, you might not you don't necessarily have to lift the finger because you're gonna have all of the slaves in the world. But here's the thing about that. That's what you know is employment today. That's why you have businesses. Okay, but in the kingdom, that's gonna be just out and out slavery. You don't pay them. Okay, and that's gonna build up a, a, a whole bunch of money. Because when you go to uh, companies that are set up within this world, whether it be Ferrari, okay, they're going to pay a man a salary, man. Now, he's a slave, but he gets a salary. We ain't going to have to be paying no salaries onto these nations when, when we get set up. If we want to just treat them like shit, we're going to treat them just how we want to treat them, man. That's saying if the scriptures, okay? Now, we ain't Edomites, okay, but we're going to do what we want with them, okay? Because when Esau does, he'll pay you a salary and it tax, tax the hell out of you for all of that. So it says that, um... And it shall come to pass in that day, okay, the Lord shall give thee rest from thy uh, sorrow and from thy fear and from thy hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. And thou shalt take this proverb against the king of Babylon and shall say, How is the oppressor seized? How is the golden city seized? Okay, so we're living in that time where the golden city is out here, man. Okay, Esau's doing 
you know, he's doing his thing. He's got his little Mercedes Benz, you know, he's in the house, whatever, whatever. But that's going to seize, man. And really that time of season came about in the times of um, uh, around about the 70s. Okay, let's go to the book of Obadiah right quick and we can uh, read about that. Um, okay, so the book of Obadiah, start from the... Um, the second verse it says, Behold, I've made thee small amongst the heathen that are greatly despised. So when they don't keep at home, these other nations, they they look at great they they find these Edomites despicable, man. In fact, the the the, the um the words that they say against these Edomites is okay, we well, you know is uh the English, the United States or NATO, man, they like they're the, those are the devils. You really gotta go out there into them Middle Eastern countries or the African countries, and they'll tell you that, man. These guys are the devils, man. They bring about death. That's what they will tell you, okay? So it says, yeah, thou art greatly despised, okay? The pride of thine heart has deceived thee. Well, is this, well, how has it deceived him? Because he thinks through his sciences, he was going to establish an everlasting kingdom. But the scripture says within the book of Job, the, 20, uh, the book of Job, the Messiah set up his bounds that he cannot pass. Meaning to say he's got a time that he's going to rule, and he's got a time where he's going to become, come out of the prompt, okay? When you go into the ancient kingdoms that existed in the, uh, in the ancient times, they ruled for a certain amount of time, and they were taken out of that power up uh, ruling seat. Okay, so you had the Assyrians rule for whatever time they had to rule, and the most had to come out. The uh, the um, uh, um, you had the Egyptians. You got Arabs out there in Egypt right now, but when the Egyptians were in their prominence, okay, they were ruled for a certain amount of time. They didn't rule out and out, but they had a certain amount of dominance, and the most had to come out. Same thing with uh, uh, Tyre, Zidon, okay, and Carthage. They had times when they were dominant, and the most side set it up to where what? Most that 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 um that prominence away from them, and the same thing goes for uh, uh for uh, for uh, for Esau, okay, and the door of Babylon, okay, which is America, okay, they got their time to rule, and they're gonna have it where they 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 um they, they that time to rule is gonna be finished, and then there's gonna be a new kingdom that's gonna last forever. Let's read this right quick. This is in the book of Deuter, uh Daniel, the second chapter on the forty fourth verse, because really. There was only one kingdom that was going to, uh, 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 government, if you will, okay, kingdom, if you will. It was all the same thing, okay, there was only going to be one rulership, okay, that was going to last forever, and that was the rulership of who? Of the Israelites, okay, ruling in righteousness. Okay, Daniel 2 and 4, let's go to Daniel, I'll go straight to the point, Daniel 2 and 44, it says, and, and in these days, Okay, and, and, and in the days of these kings shall the Mosai set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Okay, so when, when, when you're talking about the kingdom being established, that goes, you know, with the destruction of this place, but also too, you know, you're going to have it to where the kingdom is going to be set up forever. And a major uh, factor in that, okay, a major instrument in that, is that you're gonna have it to where the, the people that are gonna be ruling in the kingdom of heaven was gonna have the Lord's Touch Commandments or the Mosai within their mind, within their heart, okay, within their La'ab, okay, and they was gonna be ruling in righteous perpetually, okay, that's gonna bring about so much goodness within the world that, that, that people don't even, can't even comprehend that, man. Imagine walking day to day just not having the, the you know, covetousness, okay. That's going to bring about a lot of, uh, of, of peace within the world. You got a ruler that's not covetousness. He's not covet. Uh, he's not. Uh, he doesn't convert. I mean, that's that's how that's how Esau rules. He rules, but he's he's covetous. He's got everything, but he wants even more. Okay. So uh, let's go back onto the scripture right here. In the book of Obadiah, it says, uh, "The pride of thine heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high." So they got the high scrap skyscrapers in that. Okay. Uh, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? It says, though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, that was the indicator or clue, okay? Because although you got the um, the Arabs out there, their national, they, you know, they got the eagle on their flag and that, they don't exalt them, is it the eagle? I forget what bird it is, they got a bird on, on their flag, but they, they're not the, um, they're not the, um, uh, they don't exalt themselves as the eagle. They don't go out there onto, onto uh, 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 so-called the moon and say the eagle has landed. That was you Edomites, man. Okay, you got a lot of people out there that, that say uh, uh, um, the Edomites are the Arabs, but that's, that don't line up with the scriptures, man. Okay, that don't line up with the prophecies. The prophecy fits that the people that are ruling America right now, Britain, okay, and NATO, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, okay, the people you know as the Illuminati. Now, really, they spread it. The, they're clever, man, because they'll, they'll go out there, okay, planning 100 years into the future. They'll breed with the Moabite, okay, 
and the descendants of that Moabite will be in rulership. You're thinking this dude is a genuine Mo Moabite, and that dude's an Edomite. You got certain Edomite families, high ranking Illuminati Edomite families out there that look like the other nations because they have bred with those different nations just to make it to look uh, to look like those people so they can rule with them and the people are not uprights. Okay, it look like one of the people, but really, it's not even that he's in cahoots. He is one of the other, of, uh, he is of the um, uh, uh, serpent seed. Okay, but going back onto the point I was making, uh, pretty much. Uh, they exalt themselves as the eagle, and that should give you a good indicator as to as to who that's talking about. Okay, though I exalt thyself as the eagle, though I nest, set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down. Okay, so when they set their nest amongst the stars, okay, the Lord started bringing them down. Man. Okay, the time frame for him being destroyed, it, 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 um, it was coming to a close. That's why the scripture says this also within the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter. Okay, because once they start seeing that they was going down. Start seeing the word coming out there when they set their nest amongst the stars. Okay, the truth being pushed forth out there. They they also had to move uh, uh, in a certain type of way. Okay, uh, um, uh, in trying to stop this word. Okay, so Revelation 12 and um, 12 it says, Rejoice ye heavens. Okay, and ye that dwell in them, go unto the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devils come down having uh, having great wrath, for he know if he has a short time. Okay. So in the back of his mind, that's why the scripture says pride, dece uh, pride is deceived. Because really in the back of the, his mind, these dudes know that their kingdom is, is on the precipice of being destroyed, man. They know that they ain't out here, just out here going to live forever and ever like that. Okay? Just rule forever and ever and ever. So guess what? Uh, they was going to come down heavy. And that goes into the time of Jacob's trouble too. Okay? Uh, let me read that again. Revelation 12 and 12 says, Rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Okay, war unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devils come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth he has a, 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 a short time. Okay, let's go back onto the Isaiah, the 14th chapter now, uh, picking up from the third verse, Isaiah 14 and 3 says, It shall come to pass, the Lord shall give thee rest from thy hard bondage, from thy fear, and from thy hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve, and thou shalt take up this proverb, okay, against the king of Babylon, and say how if the oppressor ceased, and the golden city ceased. Okay. So, so that's what's gonna happen, man. And really, it ceases because the Lord set it up that He was gonna cease. Okay, He wasn't gonna have these devils ruling forever and ever, just you know, uh, eating. Okay, uh, uh, coveting. Okay, uh, destroying. Okay, He wasn't gonna have it to where um, the Scripture says that what that uh, they they you know the, the John saw a man. Okay, he saw a, a man upon a red horse. Okay, and power was given him uh, to 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 um. That, uh, to destroy the world, that they should, that they should kill one another. You ain't just gonna have it to where they're gonna be killing one another forever and ever. Matter of fact, the scripture says, if those days weren't shortened, okay, there shall be no flesh left to save. Because you got it to where the, the man on the red horse is in rulership right now. And the red, red, red represents uh, Esau, Edom. Okay, they're the people that are ruling. Okay, uh, right now, and they've taken peace from the earth. So that goes to fulfill. It wasn't the Arabs that took peace from the earth. Okay, it was you Edomites that took peace from the earth, man. Okay, so they they they're in control of things right now, and as a result, you got death within the world. Okay, so it says there. Um, so that's our, it's fourth verse of Isaiah fourteen and four. Ah, uh, so that shall take this proverb against the king of Babylon and say how the oppressor sees and the golden city sees. Okay, because the Lord set it up, man. It was a setup. Okay, He set it up to where the pride was going to deceive. Him. Okay, how the oppressor sees. Uh, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, so the military, uh, 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 um, uh, we well, you know as military advantage, okay, the staff of the wicked, the military advantage, uh, uh, that was um, that's been broken down, and I broke, uh, and I, you know, I tried to explain it the best as I could, okay, and that you know, these guys uh, um, had the um, upper hand uh, for a long time, okay, they had the upper hand for a long time because they were the only nuclear capable city for a while, but now that's just not the same case. Okay, you got all kind of different nuclear capable cities. Okay, China. Okay, uh, all kind of people. I think even North Korea is one or two ICBMs. Okay, of which that whole thing with North Korea coming up and you know them doing the thing, that's all fake, man. Okay, the real you know the real thing that's happening is a new world order is being set up, and uh, uh, um, what they're using is the conflict between Russia and America, of which all of those they're both Edomites, man. Okay, so Edom is Edom on Edom crime. Alright, Isaiah 14 and uh, 5. 
Uh, the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the uh, people with a continual stroke. Okay, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and unhindered. So when the hell comes upon Esau, okay, and his his empire is is is, is what he what he uh, what he set up and you know the RFID chip, uh, uh, microchip technology, the Bitcoin uh, interfacing, whatever you want to call it. When that all comes to uh, failing, okay, no one's gonna be out there saying, "Look, <laughs> we're gonna go out there and help America." And no, they was the ones that were raping, robbing, and murdering, man. Okay, when you go into it, you got iPhones and and, and uh, uh, silic, uh, uh, um, computers and that. All that stuff comes from somewhere, man. Okay, and these uh, uh, certain minerals that that's on on them chips that come from conflict areas like the Congo. Okay. You ain't gonna have it where the Congolese people are gonna be. The Congolese people are gonna be out there saying, "Look, we gotta go, go, go and help the Edomites uh, 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 rebuild Babylon." No one's gonna hinder the, the, the destruction of Babylon. Matter of fact, when people come to the understanding of how uh, uh, wicked this society was, okay, they're gonna come to uh, they're gonna come to the understanding that it's a great thing that the Mosai is set up to where his people are now in rulership. Okay, but at the first, they're gonna be mourning. They're gonna be complaining. Okay. So this is the book of Revelations, the 18th chapter. Revelations 18. I can start from the top. Um, I can start from the top. Revelations 18 and 1. It says, After these I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power. Okay, and the earth was lit with his glory. Okay, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon, the greatest fallen, which is America, and has become the habitation, habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit in the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. For all the nations have drank of the wine of the wrath of our fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornications with her, and the merchants of the earth are rich, rich for the abundance of our delicacies. It didn't happen out there within the Arab world like some people would like you to believe that the Edomites are Arabs. That happened out there within the United States. You had, you had it to where you had a, 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 a large, and it all started with the enslavement of the, of the Israelites. Okay, when you had it to where you had the transatlantic slave, which did not start in Africa, it started out there within Europe. Now, what, where did they get the, all of those dark-skinned people from Europe for? Those were the people that were ruling before, because what happens is, if you have it to where the Assyrians are ruling, and they're taken down by the media Persians, well, guess who's going into slavery first? It's going to be the Assyrians, man. Okay, and the same thing, the cycle, the cycle goes on. So you had it to where the, the Moors were ruling out there within Europe, okay, which were really Israelites, and they was all up into the religions of the heathens, which was Islam, I think, at the time. Okay, so they went out and out calling themselves Israelites, but they knew their heritage, okay? You had it to where the, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, um, uh, um, the Borgia family out there within Europe, they rose up to being a prominent family out there within Europe, and they put in captivity, they put into slavery the people that was ruling Europe before that, which was the Moors. So they sent them on a good ship, Jesus, out there into the Americas, and now you had it to where you have one of the most dominant economies, which was based off of what? It was based off of slavery, because they had free labor for 300 years. So you're going to make hella money. Okay, that's why the scripture says what it says here. It says that what? Okay, for all, um, uh, for the nations of rights reached to the abundance of our delicacies, because they had all of that commerce and that business that they've been setting forth from that 300, uh, 300, 400 years of hardcore free labor. Okay, you can build a whole car. Imagine what you could do with 60 years of free labor. Are you making cars for a Ferrari and Ferrari ain't paying salaries for 60 years? Man, that business will be booming, man. Okay, so that's what America had for the, for, from, the, for, uh, uh, from, the, from the beginning. Not to also mention that you had one of the biggest military uh, that you've ever ex uh, seen within, within the entire world. So you had a whole big market within the United States that these different countries, these different nations have gone into the United States to what? To make their money, man. Okay? You got it to where you got, uh, um, what is it, uh, Korea? They're making all their Korean phones, Samsung or also, or all of that. Where do they sell their Samsung phones? Now, they might sell a, a, a couple million out there within Asia and that, but them, them dudes will buy that phone and they'll use that phone for like five years, man. Out there in the United States and Britain, what's known as consumer states, they'll be switching phone every, every year, every two years, man. Okay, because it's all built off of a commerce, but when it's destroyed, these people are going to complain, they're going to mourn. Okay, when you go to Twitter, uh, uh, the dollar is no more uh, 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 tender, okay? Right, it ain't, it, um, what's known as, um, when you go to Twitter, that 21 trillion uh, debt comes calling, and the dollar's no more, and they're going to set up the chip. Them countries that was dependent on the dollar, okay, for, uh, to make their money, they're going to be, they, they're not going to be, you know, they're not going to be happy. Okay, so that's what that scripture is talking about right there. Okay, so it says it, um, 
or, or uh, the merchants of the earth, which is them different businessmen. We want to you want insert Samsung in there, okay? Whether you want to insert a uh, 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 um, uh, BMW, okay? The merchants of the earth have waxed rich to the abundance of her delicacies, okay? And I heard another voice saying, "Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins." That talking about the Israelites, okay? That was gonna come looking no kind of different shades of forms, but predominantly they was gonna be the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, okay? So it says they are um, that you be not partakers of a place, okay, which is when you go to the book of Zechariah, the 14th chapter, uh, and the 12th verse, it says, This shall be the plague where if all people that are fought against the uh, uh fought against Israel shall stand upon their feet and their eyes was gonna consume away within their sockets. Now there ain't no disease, man. Okay, they've already created that. That's called the waster, that's called the ICBM nuclear missile. That's what was gonna disintegrate people. That's why the scripture you go to second Peter's it says that what the elements is gonna melt. You go to Zechariah the fourteenth chapter, what does it say? We're gonna stand up on their feet and they're gonna disintegrate. What do you think that's talking about? And you got some individual thing, oh the Bible's done the Bible's done away with. That's all fairy tales. That's because you can't put color to the to the to the black and white, man. Okay, you can't put color to the different scriptures that the Mosai put forth because you're not spiritually discerned, man. Okay, but the Mosai set up his teachers that was gonna be spiritually discerned, was gonna look into the scriptures and they're gonna uh, they're gonna attach it to what it was say what was happening within the world. That's why you have to be on your watch. Because you see something happen within the world, an earthquake. And you be like, well, hold on a minute, the Mosai ain't supposed to kill people, and you find out the Mosai does kill people. Matter of fact, the Mosai is in control of both life and death. Okay, you go to the book of 2 Samuel 1 and 6, what did it say? The Lord killeth and maketh a life. So you have it to where some newborn baby gets born and is half dead. Well, guess what? The Lord did that. And you find out that was judgment for whatever that person did in their previous life. Balance. Okay? So it says there, uh, um, for, the, for the, her sins have reached unto heaven. Okay, and the Mosai has, uh, uh, the Mosai has remembered her iniquities. Okay? <laughs> I said saying too much for that guy. <laughs> Okay, the Mosai is uh, 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 for our sins. Okay, you have reached unto heaven and the Mosai will receive the most. The people want to put the Lord in the box, man. Okay, they want to put the Lord into a box. You can't do that. Okay, 